Hey, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 126. Today what I want to talk about is two ways to highlight data in your chart. Highlight conclusions, if you will. Not just putting the data out there, but trying to help the, trying to help the data kind of draw the user to the right conclusion without ha them having to spend a lot of time analyzing your chart. So what I have today is, hey, I'm looking at block time, and I've got year-to-date block time utilization by the day of the week, and I'm using most of my block time on Monday, Tuesday, almost all of it on Wednesday. It's still at 90% on Friday. But for whatever reason, I'm not using block time on Wednesday. And I want to highlight that information. So you know, this is a pretty good chart to say, hey, we're not using Wednesday. But let me show you two ways we might better focus our reader's attention immediately to, hey, you know, we got a problem on Wednesdays. One thing we could do is we could highlight the series. And if we go to Format and then go to Shape Fill, I can turn all the fill off. And then we can just select that shape. And let's go back to the red we had before. And now it's even more obvious what we want to show here that, hey, we're going to draw the reader's attention immediately to Wednesday. Another trick you might try is that instead of putting this year-to-date block time utilization by day of the week in this title up here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Layout and Chart Title and take the chart title out altogether. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a text box someplace. And you know what? I might even put it right in here. And I'm going to put a message in here that says, we're not using our Wednesday block time. And then what we might do is, let's come back and format this. And let's put it in the same red we had before. And let's bold it and say, all right, can we make it bigger, bigger? That's probably as big as we can do. Then we're going to have to stretch this out a little bit to make Wednesday fit inside our text box. And then what we might do is come back and center it. And now with two steps, by um, highlighting the data and just removing the fill from the data we don't want to show and highlighting the data we do. And then we've got a text box here that's a lot more flexible. I mean, a chart title is going to go up on top, and there's some things you can do. We said bag the chart title. We're not going to do that. We're going to put a text box in as a title, and then we can move the title all the way down to there, or we can put it up higher. You're a lot more, uh, there are a lot more options. You can be a lot more flexible with a text box than a, ch than a chart title. And that's the kind of thing we can do just to highlight exactly